armor on them and their horses and so they're dying to get to water. There's some fresh water springs just under that saddle on the left, uh, the Horns of Hittin. And the Muslims know that the Crusader army is going to try and make a break for those springs and they make it look like they're giving them free access to those springs. And what happens is, as the uh, Crusader army turns into a, f a field full of dried thorns and thistles there, because it's the heat of summer, the Muslims just surround them on all four sides and all they do basically is set fire to the fields. And the fire spreads very quickly and we see it to this day in Israel. Every summer we have these quick wild fires and basically they just cut down or cook the uh, Crusader army in their armor and uh, the fire makes it very easy to cook them, to kill them, whatever. And that's a very decisive battle that marks the beginning of the downfall of the Crusader army and that's July 4th, 1187. They managed to hold on in different cities until they finally lost the land in the year 1290. By that time they only had the city of Akko up north. In just a few seconds, we'll come. Uh, the road will start curving to the left, and you'll get your first glimpse of the Sea of Galilee, and it'll be off the road to the left. And there it is in front of us. And the mountains on the other end of the Sea of Galilee are the southern Golan Heights. It used to be controlled by Syria until the Six-Day War. Israel in spring, all you see is fields and orchards. And it's just amazing. It's so pretty. Here it is. Well, that's what happens, so she's reporting actual events. Yeah. 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 Yeah.